Welcome to this podcast for Brighton School of Business and Management students studying for the HND Level 5 courses. People may think of a project as being a large, complex and very visible event, such as the building of the 2012 Olympics facilities or a housing estate or perhaps a city bypass. But in the business world, in both public and private sectors, it's now accepted that uh, many of the activities carried out within organisations are actually projects. For example, relocating offices, restructuring, recruiting new staff, perhaps entering new customer markets, all these could be considered as internal projects. As a result, it is now also widely accepted that most managers in most organisations need to be familiar with and able to apply project management tools and techniques. Section 1. People have been aware of project management since ancient times, but you will need to research the background to modern project management approaches. Uh, today, project management principles are based on defining objectives, understanding constraints, managing the life cycle of a project, and uh, numerous sub-principles within uh, these categories. On bullet point two, you'll need to explain why an essential critical first step in managing any project is to carry out a feasibility study and risk assessment in order to be sure that the project will be viable. You'll need to look at this in financial and non-financial terms and then dis discuss the importance of implementing measures and checkpoints to determine if the scope, goals and objectives are being met, whether or not, whether or not the project stages are completed on time, if the project looks likely to come in under or over budget and if so, uh, what uh, corrective action needs to be taken. Following on from the first point in, in this section, the third bullet point is really about the principles behind the systems, procedures, project team structures, technological approaches and control systems used in managing most projects. It will be useful to check out the PMI Book of Knowledge and also research systems such as PRINTS to help with this. Bullet point four is about the closure stage, also known as the close down, as well as completion of the project activity. It includes the review and evaluation process, which is a critical stage, which is often poorly managed. You'll need to explain what activity or activities should be carried out at this stage and also why they are so important. Section two. Ideally, your responses in this section should refer to a range of projects, different in size, complexity and duration, to demonstrate that you are aware of how the structure and roles are different in different types of projects. A project's organisational structure and roles and responsibilities of each team member will depend on the size, duration and the complexity of the project. There is a group of established uh, templates, for example the matrix structure, which can be applied to projects. You'll need to discuss the benefits and disadvantages of these, not forgetting to focus on the difference that they make to the role and responsibilities of the team members and also to the project manager. Remembering that the theme of this section is the project's human resources, on bullet point two you'll need to describe the role of the project manager, specialists and other team members in managing and or contributing to the progress of the project. And don't forget, this can include external human resources such as consultants, agency staff, temporary team members and the sponsor or senior management who are not actively involved in the operational activity. On bullet point three, it can be argued that the leadership needed for a project is not very different from that which is needed for any other business situation, but there are some key differences which you will need to identify and discuss. For example, for many projects, the team can be a temporary one made up of individuals who may not have worked together before, and this presents the team leader with particular problems. And on the final bullet point, you'll need to discuss the ways in which human resource requirements are planned and specified for a range of different project types. Searching on Google using the phrase human resources plus project plus planning will produce some useful information as well visiting the recommended websites which are listed at the end of this podcast. Section 3. This section does require you to use a real-life project that has been agreed in advance with your tutor 
It is not acceptable to complete this section in a purely theoretical format. You will need to select a project from within your organisation or your local area of the organisation and prepare plans specifically for that project. Ideally, discuss this with your line manager and find a reasonably complex project which is both useful to the organisation and also one that you can apply the assignment requirements to. Obtain the approval of your tutor before you proceed and if it is impossible to select an internal project then talk with your tutor who will help you select a suitable external project to use. On bullet point two, you need to discuss how you would apply tools and techniques such as Gantt charts and network charts, how you would handle issues like forecasting and budget requirements, setting cost limits and the allocation of budgets. Following on from the previous point, you need to explain what methods you would use to monitor progress, such as CPA, project status reports, budget reports, change management reports and so on. A brief description of what change control is and why it is necessary to have procedures for this is what is required in, in this section of the assignment. Plus, it would help to show an example of such a procedure as applied to the project that you have selected. For the final bullet point, you would need to explain briefly the review and evaluation process that occurs as the very last stage of any project and why it is so important and then apply this to your selected project. The Google search using the phrase project plus review or project evaluation plus review will lead to many useful examples as will visiting the following websites. Finally, if you need any further guidance or assistance with this assignment, please contact your tutor.